There are two types of magnets: permanent magnets and induced magnets. Let's figure out the difference between a permanent magnet and an induced magnet using experiments. A permanent magnet always has a magnetic field. It always has a north and a south pole. Bar magnets and horseshoe magnets are examples of permanent magnets. If you have a permanent magnet but you don't know which end is north and which is south, you can figure it out using a compass. A compass is kind of like a mini permanent magnet. The red end of the needle is north, and the other end is south. So if the south end of the needle is attracted to this side of the magnet, then this side of the magnet must be north, because opposite attract. If the compass needle's north is attracted to this end of the magnet, then this end of the magnet is south. Some magnets are manufactured with a dimple at one end to indicate the north pole. So that shows we were correct. If I have two permanent magnets next to each other, they can attract or repel depending on their directions. Another type of magnet is known as induced magnets. They are made of iron, cobalt, or nickel. An induced magnet is a material that becomes a magnet only when it's placed in a magnetic field. And what is something that always has a magnetic field? A permanent magnet. So if I place a substance made of iron, cobalt, or nickel within the magnetic field of a permanent magnet, then the substance becomes an induced magnet. The induced magnets will then be attracted to the permanent magnet, but they can never repel each other. I have two objects here. One is a permanent magnet, and the other is not a permanent magnet, but it can be made into an induced magnet. You don't have a compass to work out which of the two objects has a north and a south pole. But you are given an additional permanent magnet. How do you figure out which object A or B is the permanent magnet? Remember how we said a permanent magnet can either attract or repel another permanent magnet? So I can test all the sides of the object. If there is a side that can repel, then it is a permanent magnet. There we go. This side repels. So this is the permanent magnet. Let's also test object B just to make sure we got this right. An induced magnet can only attract, and it seems like all the sides of this object can only attract. Therefore, object B must be the induced magnet. Thanks for watching till the end of this video lesson. Be sure to subscribe for more physics.